Thursday night football. I'll be talking about the college game, plus four free winners in Major League Baseball. It would have been a winning day yesterday on the Power Five, but the Blue Jays' bullpen, well, they decided to screw us. Still, though, a really strong 67-36-4 overall run here on the show. Smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on my selections for Thursday. We're going to start with an early game. 110 Eastern, Reds plus one and a half versus the Cardinals. Yes, take the visitors on the run line. A little surprising that this series hasn't been brought up yet here on the Power Five this week, given how well documented my feelings are about these two teams. Let me shout it out again for those of you who may be new to the program. Cincinnati, they have a 71 and 76 record, yet their year to date run differentials plus 20. St. Louis, 73 and 72, one loss record. But their year-to-date run differentials, minus 65. How is that possible? Well, it's results like last night. The Cardinals won 2-1, to one, which was their 27th one-run victory of the season. Over a third of their wins in 2024 have been by exactly one run. Meanwhile, the Reds, they are now an NL worst, 14-27 and 27 in one-run games. So over one-third of their losses this season have come by one run. How do we rectify this situation Thursday afternoon? Simple, by playing Cincinnati on the run line. Now, it's going to be around minus 145 to take the plus one and a half, but I think it's worth a shot. Reds did win the series opener, by the way, 3 nothing. Uh, also, card starter, Sonny Gray, he's given up six runs each of his two starts versus the Reds this season. Since he's better than their record, St. Louis not as good as its record. I'm going to continue saying that through October. All right, play number two, Rays Guardians over seven and a half. I cashed an over with the Guardians yesterday right here on the Power Five. That was in Chicago. Now the guards are back home, and I've mentioned it a million times before here on the show. Progressive Field is now a full-fledged hitter's park thanks to the physical changes that were made during the off season. So I don't think the Guardians and Rays should have much trouble getting to eight combined runs tonight. Now, I do like Ryan Pepio, the Rays starter for Thursday, and the team's bullpen has the second lowest ERA in baseball since the All-Star break. It's very impressive. Speaking of bullpens being impressive, Cleveland's has the lowest ERA for the season, but Gavin Williams, who's starting for the guards here, 6.86 ERA his last five starts, and you can't ignore the fact that the over is 38-26-4 this season at Progressive Field. No more shipping containers. That's good enough for me. Over it is would play that up to eight. Rangers plus 140 on the money line versus the Mariners. That's our third play here today. Everyone loves a good plus price. And in this instance, we're getting the Rangers top pitching prospect, Kamar Rocker, on the mound tonight. Yes, I know the Rangers were a terrible call yesterday here on the Power Five as underdogs, but let's talk about Rocker now, shall we? He was dominant down in both double and triple A, allowing just three runs and 13 hits in seven starts, 47 strikeouts and 29 and two-thirds innings pitched. His big league debut tonight comes against one of the weakest hitting lineups in all of baseball. Seattle is 29th in runs per game at home, and the Rangers have revenge for a prior sweep. Texas going all out this weekend, in case you didn't know, in an effort to stay in the playoff race. Not only are they calling up Rocker to start tonight, but Jacob DeGrom returns tomorrow. I think this is a great price to jump on Texas, plus 140 on the money line. How about another underdog for our fourth play today? Giants, plus 105 against the Brewers. Now, if you caught my appearance on first pitch yesterday, you know I said to play the over in yesterday's game between these two teams. San Fran handled that themselves, scoring eight runs in the first two innings in route to a dominant 13-2 win. I think the Giants get it done again tonight behind Hayden Birdsong, who is due for a win. Team is 0-6 in Birdsong's last six starts, yet he's allowed two earned runs or fewer in three of the previous four, so it's not like he's pitching poorly. Meanwhile, I'm not a Frankie Montas guy. said that before. The Brewers starter for Thursday. He's got a 7.15 ERA his last three starts, 5.12 ERA for the year on the road. It is time. For Birdsong to get back in the win column. Back the Giants as home underdogs in this one. Quick note before we get to some football. Been a tough last two days. No doubt about it for me at wagertalk.com. Very sorry about that. We're going to bounce back on Thursday and have a great weekend. Remember, that special offer I've talked about the last couple days. You can get all of my NFL and college football for the next four weeks for only $199. That's less than $50 per week, obviously. For me, it was a winning week one in NFL. Plus, you go back to last season... I'm on a 25-11 and 11 run in college football, 
including a 67% start this season, 6-3. and three. Last Saturday, I nailed all three CFB sides, including Northern Illinois against Notre Dame, did not need the 28 there. In fact, all three sides I had uh, were dogs that won their games outright. Also had San Jose State over Air Force and ULM over UAB. All right, speaking of college football, how about a little college football to round out the Power Five on Thursday? Going to uh, talk Arizona State, Texas State. If you want some NFL talk from me, you'll have to check out the morning wager. Uh, so this is a huge game for Texas State at home on national TV and facing a Power Four opponent. That Power Four opponent is Arizona State. While many are surprised to see the Sun Devils coming in a 2-0 straight up, they did close a six and a half point home favorites against both Wyoming and Mississippi State. So, it's not really that shocking. Now, ASU, they did win both games in pretty convincing fashion, 48-7 to over Wyoming, and they led by double digits most of the way against Miss State. However, the market is telling you which side to bet in tonight's game. Despite the majority of tickets and money coming in on the Sun Devils, we've seen the line move in Texas State's direction. Looks like the Bobcats might close as the favorite here. I say play Texas State on the money line up to minus 120. This is an experienced team with nine returning starters on both sides of the ball. James Madison transfer Jordan McLeod looks great at quarterback. Texas State's offense is the best unit on the field in this game. It's the biggest game in program history. That is not hyperbole. I expect Texas State to win, so take them on the money line. Let us now recap the Power 5 in case you missed anything or forgot anything. Number one, Reds, run line, plus one and a half versus the Cardinals. Number two, Rays, Guardians, over seven and a half. Number three, Rangers, plus 140 on the money line versus the Mariners. Number four, Giants on the money line, plus 105 against the Brewers. And number five, college football, Texas State money line. Play that up to minus 120 against Arizona State. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Always appreciate the comments, positive or negative, doesn't matter. Just love the feedback. Also remember, if you haven't already done so, make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Uh, that way, you don't miss any of our exclusive sports betting content. No one does it better. Uh, of course, not only do I drop the Power 5 daily, but you can't forget about the Morning Wager. Myself and Mark Zinno, every Monday through Friday, there's going to be a surprise for you on Thursday's show. As a matter of fact, on the next two days, there's going to be a surprise on the Morning Wager. So be sure to check that out. But that's going to do it. For the Power 5 here on Thursday, smash that like button if you already haven't done so. And until next time, let's catch some tickets.